Welcome to another episode of The Boss Squad, brought to you by Ghost211 Media and the Anadromous Fly Company. My name's Ricky Evans, and I'll be your host for this episode. Y'all be sure to check out our stores at fishingandoutdoors.ca for Canadian shoppers and fishingandoutdoors.net for U.S. and international shoppers. <clears throat> Today we're going to be tying a baitfish streamer on the Arex PR378GB and uh, let's get started. So we've got some 210 denier Danvils thread. We're going to attach it right, right at the back of the shank. Decent little thread base down there. I'm going to take some bucktail. <clears throat> I usually hand stack all my bucktail, so just take your tips and even them back up. This is actually just going to be serving for purpose of keeping your hackles from fouling around the hook. So that's what that's why I put this in there. I don't want it, but it's just a little bit past the end of the hook or the bend of the hook there. <clears throat> Tie that down. Have some hackles here. I have four of them. I'm gonna put two on one side and two on the other. That bucktail will help keep your hackles from fouling around the bend of the hook here. Then I'm going to take some flash. This is just crinkle flash. I'm just going to kind of cut this in stages. You don't want it like a clean paintbrush. You want it to kind of be all uneven when you cut it. <clears throat> okay. I have some two, two and a half inch EP invader brush. It's got a lot of a lot of flash in it too, so it's, it's going to work really well. And this is basically basically just a filler for the uh, body. I'm going to tie this in. Advance our thread right, right there. I'm going to palmer this forward a bit. you don't tra trap too much of it we'll, we'll brush it out when we get to where we're going with it this invader brush it works really well for this I like the way it looks it gives it some shine <clears throat> Off. 
this out. Pretty good. Next step we're going to do is we're going to take some predator dubbing. These <clears throat> black and white. I'm going to take a decent amount of this stuff here. One, two. Need it, I guess. Get it the length we want. Basically, what we're going to be doing is about twice the length we want, but work with it, stack it, get it the way you want it. <clears throat> Put a few wraps <clears throat> there. Let me flip that over. I'm going to take some white. Simperfly 1 16th inch Mirage Flash. Um, this is not necessary. You don't have to do this on these flies. I do it just because I like the way it looks. You can catch it on the thread and double it over. Tie it down one side. And I usually like to cut this just behind the, the bend of the hook. Just past the bend of the hook. So got that. I'm going to put another piece in on the opposite side. Trap that. flash in. I'm going to take and pull the top or the bottom, whichever is comfortable with you, pull it back and then work your thread between the two to the front. Put a head base there. You can work this dubbing together and get it to stay. Whip that off, whip finish that off with the head. I'm always double whip finishing, especially on these bigger flies like this. It's just something I do. Don't have to because you're going to glue all that together and put some eyes on it and UV the head. So, <clears throat> okay. I have some eyes. These are pretty cool eyes. These are Madtown eyes. I like them. Pretty fun to work with. I'm gonna take some super glue. Put 
place that uh, where I want it. that dubbing get it how you want it have some solar res flex here I'll put some of that on the dubbing part of it to kind of keep the dubbing in the shape that I want it a little bit goes a long ways with this stuff so don't get carried away with it Get that out on it. On the top. If you take and you pull that just a little bit before you hit it with the light, it'll lay it down for you well. You get that nice profile. Pretty good. Last thing I'm going to do is take some clear hard UV. Just kind of get some on the thread wraps and a little bit up the dubbing. You don't want to go too far up the dubbing with your hard, your clear hard UV basically want to fill in the gaps between the eyes put a little over your eye that'll help them eyes stay on a long time keep them from getting knocked off get that with the light That's it. That's ready to fish. You guys be sure to click the like button and subscribe. And be sure to hit that reminder bell button. That way you get notified every time a new episode drops. And remember to go check out our stores at Fishing and Outdoors. Dot .ca for Canadian shoppers and dot .net for US and international shoppers. Thanks for watching.